Welcome to the short presentation from Brocade Education, where we are proud to introduce the Brocade SAN Professional Exam. What is this exam? It's a knowledge assessment based on a collection of recently updated Brocade Education Advanced Competency Fiber Channel courses. So how do you get started? We're going to talk a little bit more about that as far as registering within the, the Brocade Learning Portal, but essentially you, if you have, already have an account, there's also a YouTube video which will show you how to do that as well. You can find that on our YouTube channel. Basically, you can follow the Brocade Sand Professional playlist, and then how do you take the exam? You complete all the free courses that are listed within that playlist. We'll take a closer look at those courses coming up. After you've completed those courses, then the exam itself will become unlocked and you'll be able to take it. What do you get for passing this exam? There is a downloadable certificate, permanent transcript. We will also share your accomplishment on our social media outlets should you want that as well. And then there's a knowledge gain from the process and the recognition of passing this exam, becoming a Brocade SAN professional, which is going to be the highest accomplishment which you can gain from Brocade education as far as from our exam track. What are the courses that are currently within this professional exam? If you've taken the Gen 7 specialist exam, then you've already got a head start on this particular process, the traffic optimizer fundamentals and the fabric notification fundamentals and implementation courses. Those are some of our latest features within our Fabric OS operating system. And then there's a Brocade support link overview course. There's some analytics courses here in the center, uh, FC routing, virtual fabrics, FCIP, long distance, switch security, and then an NVMe course. So now let's move into the learning portal and show you how to find this particular playlist and how to sign up for the individual courses. We are now within the learning portal on one of the accounts that I use for demos such as this. Essentially, if you need to learn how to log into the Brocade Education LMS or the learning portal, you can. there's a demo out there on YouTube. You basically go to Broadcom.com. There is an entry at the top of the field there or at the top of the web page to log into the Brocade Customer Support Portal, and you'll find the education platform within that login. Once you've logged in, essentially, you, this is the view you're going to have. The easiest way to find the, all the different playlists available from Brocade Education is to type Brocade Playlist in here, as I've done here, and you can see the various playlists that are available. If you do not see the playlist that we're looking for, and right now we're looking for the Brocade Professional, SAN Professional Playlist, then you hit Enter, and then it will list out a number of the playlists that are available from Brocade Education, and we want to find this particular playlist right here. Right here, this playlist, Brocade Sand Professional Exam. Let's follow that. That's the easiest way to move forward after we found it within the learning portal the first time. So let's go back to our homepage. And you can see here now I've followed four playlists. Before I only had three, and I'm going to select that here in a second. There may be some other advertisements here, some playlists that are available that you can follow. In this case, with this particular account, the Brocade Sand Professional Exam playlist was here, and I could have just followed it at this particular juncture. But I just showed you how to do the actual search for our various playlists by typing, by typing in a Brocade playlist. So let's go to our followed section here. And you can see that there's a number of playlists that this particular account has followed. The Sand Administrator Exam, the Gen 7 Specialist, and one of the Sand Nav playlists. So let's go within this Brocade Sand Professional exam playlists, and I'm going to toggle the view of the courses. So these two courses have already been registered for, but they have not yet been completed. And so if they were completed, there would be a green check mark here. So let's go and show you how to sign up for an individual course. So I just select the individual course right here. I go over here once this comes up to open curriculum. This will register you for the course. Again, all these courses are free. And then once this goes through, Essentially, what you want to do is go to course modules and assessment. This is an optional section which just lists out more courses available from Brocade Education. And then within the student resources, typically there will be a PDF guide that will be available here. So let's go to course modules and assessment. So you can launch the course and then take the short assessment test. And then after completing this, it will mark this course as complete. So let's go back to our playlist. So now we are back within our playlist and I have registered, as you can see here, for a couple of the courses have not yet completed. 
Once you've completed all the different courses here, then you can go down to the final entry here, which is the Brocade Sand Professional Exam. If I were to select it now, you can see that there was a request option. If I selected that, it basically says I have additional prerequisites that need to be completed. When all the courses have been completed, then you can basically register for the exam and take it. We're going to end this presentation with a few recommendations for studying. Again, all of our exams, including the Brocade Sand Professional Exam, are based solely on the content covered in the prerequisite courses. So we recommend the following to prepare for the exam. Complete the exam track of courses. Download and, and use the study guide for each course. They are available as an optional learning element within each course. You can review both the body and the notes section of the student guide before taking the exam. We also recommend that you leverage the buddy system, work with your peers, your colleagues, some of your friends within the industry, take the courses you know, along, around the same time frame, study together, have working groups, discuss what you might, may want to implement within your own particular environment from the various things that you've learned from these particular courses. The test itself is open book. It's not necessarily that it's much easier with that particular format because there's a lot of content that's been covered. But if you've worked as a group or worked you know, individually and put the effort and the time in, you should be able to pass the exam because all the content should be found within the course material. So we wish you the best on passing this exam. And we look forward to being able to promote your success on our social media outlets. Thank you for listening to this presentation.